I am the director of Polish Contractors, currently undertaking this project of uh, RCTI hostels. This came about in terms of the procurement process, the intent of the client, doing an expression of interest. We got interested and uh, apparently the process was about one year ago and uh, we happened to have qualified amongst uh, about seven others. Predominantly, as you could tell from the master plan and the drawings, this is a, a six-story building plus one underground parking. So in essence, the methodology of construction is predominantly, first of all, excavation, after getting the depths right, and then, of course, uh, we start doing the substructure up to the surface level, which is the ground level. From there, now we start doing the structure itself. So we intend to do it in one and a half years, uh, all going well because apparently the geotech survey that was done shows there's a bit of rock here. So the rock part, because we're going a bit uh, underneath for one, the, first, uh, the underground floor. So basically we'll do the excavation and remove the, a bit of the rock to get that headroom. So that is what could take a bit of time, but predominantly we'll want to work within the one and a half years that we scheduled. Yeah, well, the challenges we'll be looking at most likely is uh, the, 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 what is called substructure. The substructure element is when you get a very rocky area like here, it takes a bit of time to get to the base where you want to start your, your building. But it's also a blessing in this case because the rockier it is, the better the structure in terms of uh, structural compo composition of it. So the other challenge predominantly is the escalating prices of materials. Well, you, 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 as you had, this process uh, was finished like six months ago. Between six months and now, there's been quite a bit of price variations in terms of materials. And uh, the effects of COVID are now being seen now because imports have not been coming. Whatever is coming in is at exorbitant prices and more so the steel. And uh, whenever fuel is increased, it spirals to all other components of uh, production. Well, that is why we are here. As an NCO one we have our internal mechanisms of sorting out challenges that we face along construction. So basically, we have a team of our engineers as well. As much as we have consultants, we get to challenges, but we also get solutions to the challenges, only to get to the consultants to verify that what we want to do is in line with their thoughts as well. The building is a student capacity of 550, as of now. Yes, there, there, there's a mixed use. There are singles and doubles and uh, shared rooms. So, but they're all self-contained. Ideally, we are trying to have not an eye end, but a middle end for purposes of at least uh, getting the catchment area of the population target, right? Well, apart from the rooms, uh, from your master plan, you must have seen a, a swimming pool. There'll be a swimming pool, there'll be the play yards, the courts for basketball, tennis ball, volleyball, all will be in this phase. Otherwise, the other phases, there'll be other components. But in this phase, there'll be the swimming pool and the courts, the basketball court, the tennis court, and the volleyball yard. Here. Well, I just want to thank the client for having confidence in us, having built the first uh, the headquarters, and now we are privileged again to showcase what we do best. And we thank them very much, and we adhere and promise that yes, we will showcase what we do best.